All right, so we finally have some solid info on the DJI Neo 2, and I know you've probably been waiting forever because leaks were starting to dry up, but don't worry, this one's packed with all the juicy details you've been waiting for. And hey, before we dive in, if you're into drones, cameras, or just cool tech in general, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I've got plenty more coming your way soon. Now, let's get into it. For a while, there were rumors floating around that the Neo 2 would launch alongside the Osmo Mobile 8 and the Mic 3 Pro. Well, DJI has already started selling the Osmo Mobile 8 in China, and DJI has hinted that the Neo 2 will be next, specifically before the end of this month. And guess what? An unofficial teaser popped up recently from Quadro News, and the DJI Neo 2 could officially arrive as early as October 30th, 2025, with pre-orders going live right after. Now, based on the leaked images, the Neo 2 still keeps that same compact, lightweight design just like the original, staying comfortably under the 250 gram mark. But there are some noticeable hardware upgrades. The propeller guards are double layered, giving it better safety and airflow efficiency, especially for indoor use. But the real eye catcher, those new omnidirectional sensors on the front, a major leap from the first Neo's limited obstacle detection. This time, it's designed to be far more aware of its surroundings, helping it navigate tight spaces and avoid bumps even in trickier flight paths. Some reports, like Jasper Ellens on Drone XL mention infrared LiDAR sensors for enhanced safety and tracking. While that sounds impressive given the Neo 2's lightweight sub 250 gram design, it's more likely that these are advanced optical or infrared sensors rather than true LiDAR, so don't expect full LiDAR level precision. Flip to the back and you'll spot what looks like a new digital transmission receiver and antenna setup, likely using DJI's OcuSync 4 tech. That means a stronger, more stable connection when flying with goggles or a wireless controller, basically no delay during FPV style flights. DJI seems to be pushing this one for both pros and beginners who want a small but capable drone for creative flying, both indoors and outdoors. Then there's the camera. A pretty exciting upgrade here. It's rumored to have a 1 over 1.3 inch CMOS sensor paired with a two axis gimbal for smoother stabilization. That sensor sits between the new front sensors and it's reportedly capable of 4K at 60 FPS, 10 bit HDR, and D log M recording. Plus, it supposedly delivers up to 13.5 stops of dynamic range, which is miles ahead of the original Neo's imaging capabilities. As for the rest of the specs, the DJI Neo 2 is said to come with 22GB of internal storage, though there's still no slot for a microSD card, which might be a bit disappointing for some users who like that extra flexibility. Powering the drone is a 1600mAh battery, offering a flight time of around 19 minutes. It's rated with level 5 wind resistance, meaning it can hold its own in breezy conditions and can hit a top speed of 16 meters per second, with an impressive range of about 10 kilometers. On top of that, it's packed with smart features features like gesture and voice control, auto return to home, an acro mode for those who like more manual freedom, and six quick shot modes that make it easy to capture cinematic clips without much setup. So yeah, while there are still a few missing details, things are shaping up nicely. DJI clearly wants this to be a fun yet powerful mini drone that delivers big performance without the intimidating setup. And if you're wondering about price, here's how it might break down. The Fly Solo bundle is expected to start at $229, which includes the drone and a single battery. The Creator Combo, priced at $299, adds a second battery and the RCN3 controller. For those who want to dip into the FPV experience, the FPV Starter Bundle at $399 includes three batteries, the Motion 3 controller, and a Goggles N3 adapter. And for anyone who wants the full experience right out of the box, the Flymore kit, expected to cost around $449 packs in everything from the FPV bundle plus a carrying case, charging hub, and extra propellers. It's looking like the DJI Neo 2 could be one of the most accessible yet feature-packed drones DJI is going to drop in a while, and with that rumored October 30th date, we don't have to wait long to see what it's really capable of. Would you go for the Neo 2 as your everyday drone or stick to something more pro-level like the Mini 5 Pro? Let me know in the comments. Peace.